Welcome to Yoga TX. My name is Savannah, and today we'll do a short 10 minute yoga practice for the morning. So let's go ahead and get started in a seat. If cross legged is comfortable for you, go ahead and come here. Otherwise, you can extend the legs out or bend the knees and sit on the heels. So we'll start immediately by reaching the arms up towards the ceiling, taking a breath in. And as you exhale, start to reach one arm up a little bit higher. So you can think of climbing a rope above you or my other analogy that I have on hand today is like you're trying to pick some apples, but they're just out of reach. So you start to mobilize the side of the body, energize the body because it's in upper torso movement. And then with your next breath in, both arms will reach back up. On the breath out, turn the ribs to the right, lower your right hand behind you and your left hand on top of the right knee. Turn your ribs to the right, take a breath in. Exhale, dropping left ear to left shoulder. Let your head nod a few times, yes and no. Side to side. Pulling from the center of the chest out towards the edge of your collarbone. And breathing in, reaching the right arm up. Exhale to lean over towards the left, maybe even letting the right elbow hook over the forehead. We'll take two breaths in, two breaths out here. How lazy could you get your head to be? And inhale to reach back up towards the ceiling. Exhale, rotating the ribs to the left. Right hand will come to the left knee. Left hand will come behind the left hip. Twist the ribs just a little bit more towards the left, whatever is a comfortable twist for you. Taking an inhale. Exhale, right ear drops towards the right shoulder, pulling the chin towards the center of the chest, and then stretching it out towards the edge of the right shoulder. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Keeping the right hand hooked onto the left knee, inhale the left arm nice and high by the left ear. As you exhale, lean over towards the right, maybe even bending the left elbow over your forehead. Let the weight of the head be nice and heavy. And it helps if you can get yourself a big head of hair. And then inhale, reach the arms back up. Exhale to bring the hands down in front of you, or if you're positioned exactly like me, bring your hands over to the side so that you can come onto your hands and knees. Start to circulate the rib cage, dropping it down towards the floor bumping the rib cage over to one side and then rounding it up towards the ceiling. So you could imagine yourself almost being inside of a tube here and you are using your torso to clean out all sides of the tube. Taking that one or two more rounds, reversing the circle, mobilizing your upper back. And then shifting the shoulders underneath the shoulders. I'm sorry, shifting the wrists underneath the shoulders, breathing in as you pull the left elbow up. Exhale to reach your left arm underneath your right shoulder, lowering the left ear and turning your head to the right. Plant your right hand in front of your face, but swivel your right fingers in toward your nose, grounding down through the floor, not only with the right hand, but through the entire back of the left arm, as if you could press the floor away for two inhales and two exhales. After that second exhale, place the right hand wherever it'll feel most sturdy to reach your left arm up. Step your left leg to the back of the mat so the left toes are pointing towards the left side of the mat, reaching the left arm over the left ear, Taking two big breaths in and two big breaths out. If you want a little help with balance, shift the gaze down towards the hand. Or if balance permits, drop the weight of your head. All right, with your next breath out, bring your left hand down. Turn your left toes down towards the mat. Stretch your right leg up and back in downward facing dog pose. So the left foot will stay on the mat. The right leg will reach actively back behind you. Start to bend the right knee, circling the right thigh and the right hip. And then go ahead and lower 
Right foot comes down, the knees come down. Inhale, right elbow pulls up. Keep the weight shifting forward. As you exhale, right arm reaches underneath your left arm. Turn the rib cage to the left, your nose to the left. Bending the left elbow as much as you need to to come towards the floor. We'll spiral the left fingertips in towards the nose and use the entire back of the right arm to press the floor away. Finding a sense of ease with the breath. And that means not trying to take it in for longer than your lungs feel that they have the capacity for. Exhaling when you feel like you need to exhale. Inhaling when you feel like you need some air. Should seem obvious, but us humans hold our breath a lot. With your next inhale, press your left hand down flat with the fingers pointing forward. Reach your right arm up. Here's where we'll step the right foot to the back of the mat. Turn your right toes to what would be the right side of the mat. Right arm comes over your ear. If balance permits, drop the weight of your head. And if you want to feel a little bit more centered, take your gaze down. Push the floor away. Great. With your next breath out, right hand will come down. The right toes will turn down towards the mat. Step your left leg up and back as you press yourself into a three-legged dog pose with your right toes down and your left leg lifting up and back, bend your left knee and start to stir your left knee in circles. Like you have a spatula connected to your knee and a stock pot beneath you. And then release, left foot comes down, widen your feet out, bend the knees as you press your hips up and back, with your next breath out, step your right foot forward, seal your left heel down. Take a big breath in, reaching both hands forward. Then we'll take left arm up and back behind us, bringing our gaze over the right fingers, making any little shift or adjustment that you'd like in your posture so that this feels more at home in your body. That could be tilting the hips from side to side or softening the hands down, spread out through the toes. With your next breath in, drop the left hand down. Reach your right arm up and back. Exhale, right forearm will pull towards your right thigh. Lean over towards the right from your hips. Inhale the left arm over your left ear. Small bend in the left elbow if you'd like, or maybe you fully bend the left elbow and let it hang over the forehead. This is a move I like to call, not today, sister. So you flip your palm away and you try to block yourself from something. Um, that has its own function, but it's also really nice for your lower back. And then releasing left hand down towards the mat. Right hand comes down towards the mat. Stretch your right leg back, lower your knees down. And as you're ready, come all the way towards the abdomen. We'll breathe in to stretch the legs back and reach your arms back. Turn the palms towards the floor. Maybe you're even spiraling forward. And then breathing out up to downward facing dog, tucking the toes. Left foot steps forward. Right heel seals down. Breathe in to reach your hands forward and up. Right arm reaches back behind you. Taking your gaze over towards your left hand. I can already tell that my pelvis is positioned in one spot and I want it to feel a little bit more free. So if you have that same sensation, wiggle, shift, make it work for you, soften the elbows. Dropping the right hand towards the right thigh, inhale the left arm nice and high, leaning back. Using the breath out to guide left elbow or left forearm to left thigh. Right arm reaches the right uh, over the right ear. Small bend in the right elbow or big bend, what feels best. Flip your right palm away if you liked that not today move. Actively press through the palm. And then release, hands come down towards the mat. Step your left foot back. Bring both of your knees down to the mat. Come into a comfortable seat. Close the eyes, bringing one hand over the heart, one hand over the abdomen. So we stopped mid-flow after some energizing poses. I want you to just settle in with that feeling. 
certainly wouldn't want to leave you from the ground since it's the morning. Now that you've stirred this juice up in your system, you've gathered this energy, what would you like to place it towards today? What's the intention, the purpose? And if you have an intention that you'd like to share or a purpose for your practice today, share it with us below so that we can connect a little deeper together on our mat. Namaste.